Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. This case is now in the hands of the LAPD's top detectives. CBS 2's Stacey Butler has the latest. She dropped her son off at a flag football game and vanished. Heidi Plank from Palms gone two weeks now. We've learned the LAPD Robbery Homicide Division has now taken over the case from the missing persons unit, signifying it is now a high profile case. And we've learned detectives have seen security video from the downtown apartment building where, strangely, her dog was found wandering around. No one can explain why. They're not releasing any other information. Plank's ex husband, who is helping lead the volunteer search for her, told me investigators with the Securities and Exchange Commission asked him about her job as the financial controller of Camden Capital Partners, a local investment company, and they wanted to know where her laptop was. Some people are looking into her work. She knew everything. She knew everything. She knew everything. The feds have filed a lawsuit against Camden's managing partner, Jason Sugarman, alleging that over a three year period, he and others stole $43 million from unwitting pension funds. Law enforcement has not said Sugarman is connected to Heidi's disappearance in any way, but her ex husband is convinced her work at Camden should be investigated. Did it ever occur to you that maybe she knew too much? It occurs to me every second. That she knew too much. That's the hard. That's the hard part. Also new, Heidi's friends say she had a new boyfriend in the Bay Area, Nayam Salam, who works as a VP for a charity created by Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Friends say Heidi texted him before her disappearance that she was scared and wished that he was with her. Heidi's friends were planning on holding a prayer vigil for her Thursday, but that's her son's 11th birthday. So they've moved it to Sunday, 6 o'clock, downtown Los Angeles. In Newport Beach, Stacey Butler, CBS 2 News. No show.